Yo, what up, it's Don. Sammy Lee here. We are the Soul Brothers, man. What up? We're back up in it. Yes. Top selling shoes of uh, 2018, first quarter. First quarter? Huh. And they were all by Nike slash Jordan. Shout out to Sneaker News, uh, of course. Uh, that's where the article is from. So starting off with number 10 is a Nike Flex Contact. Mm -hmm. um, it's a... It, it, it's a running shoe and it's like it has free run technology but I don't think it has flying it maybe it's like a cheaper type of material but that is the number 10 See, selling that, shoe that's the, the type world. of shoe that people just who really don't care about shoes yeah they just get it and it just has a Nike swoosh on it and they just you yeah, know? and they just copy it it's at a good price and Whatever. that's really where the bread and butter is not this high piece yeah. shoe stuff because like you know if you're you know, if you have high piece cheese stuff, and it's, it, even though it's two hundred bucks, you need to make it limited. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So you only exactly. have like a couple thousand. And if you don't make it limited, then it's, it's not, not worth much, it's and not people really don't want to buy it. Exactly. So you know you're not making that much money. But if no. you have, if you're selling a shoe for like maybe like eighty bucks, hundred bucks, and you have like tens of tens of thousands, and like ten thousand. Uh, and you're selling it to all of these, you know, yeah. stores and businesses. I mean, like the Air Monarch, or I mean, the exactly. Air Monarchs are just everywhere you know they sell so many of those yep we got to number nine is the nike air force one low hmm. no, that, yeah Sounds that's, a lot, about right. that's a lot of people right yeah that uh, shoe kind of picked up steam again obviously it's a classic yes um it kind of comes in waves and it's in an, in another wave right now yes so all right moving on to number eight is the air jordan nine I don't like what colorway. I guess I guess it just consider every, all yeah, the colorways. Every colorway. Yeah. Um. But yeah, I guess people like the nines. I yeah. don't know. I don't they really must have like released some. Ones. Obviously, yeah. they probably released a few colorways. All right, I'm searching the next one because I don't know what it is. But it's but uh, right, moving on to number seven is a uh, Revolution Four by Nike. Have these I shoes. I've never mean, seen this shoe. This what is, is all this? famous footwear stuff. DSW shoes. Yeah, that's pretty... I've never seen this before. You know, it's just a standard... Is there even a swoosh on there? Yeah. Yeah, it's just your standard little athletic shoe that is 60 bucks. That's cheap, you know? That's where they make a lot of their money. Yes. Most of their money, obviously. Right, moving Quantity. On, moving on to number six is a Converse All-Star Low, and that's obviously... Yeah, that's not surprising. Yeah. So many people wear Converse, but I'm surprised it's not number one, though. Yeah, that's for sure. That's pretty crazy, right? Yeah. Moving on to number five is the Verachis. Yeah, yeah, you see a lot of people. A lot of those. Of those are actually really comfortable too. Yeah, and they look pretty dope. So you know, I understand that. And there's a ton of different colorways. Yes. And uh, yeah, I just see a lot of people rocking them. Yep. Moving on to number four is very very surprising, but it's the Air Max 270. Really? It's hmm. a it's it's a new shoe also. I don't think I ever seen that shoe out in the wild. Really? I see a lot of people in them. Really? Yeah, I see a lot. Huh. So the Air Max 270, it's pretty comfortable. It feels like the Vapor Max, but I how much are they? Uh, one sixty, I think. One fifty, somewhere around there. Right. Um, but yeah, that's pretty damn surprising, especially for a new shoe to be yeah. on this list, right? Yeah. Um, moving on to number three is the Jordan One High OG. Yeah. I mean, with how many releases Jordan yeah, released? Yeah. Flooding the no market. No shit, right? Um, moving on to number two is the Air Jordan Eleven Low. Yeah. Also one of the historically biggest shoes of all time. Did they release a lot though? Uh, they released a few colors, colorways. Well, they just not, not this year, but like overall, like last year and stuff. I think. Yeah, they right. did. Um, but moving on to number one, I don't know. The this the, I thought this was called the Kaishi. Wasn't it called the Kaishi? I don't know, but this is another. Oh, this yeah. shoe I see everywhere. Yeah, Kaishi. It's like a Roshi. It's like a budget Roshi. Picture that. Yeah, so it, it's the same. Right. Kaishi. Kaishi is supposed to be like a, the second. You know, rendition of the Roshi, I right. think, I believe, but you know, they call they, they're calling it a tangent now. Is that wow. weird? Yeah, um, sixty five bucks, obviously a cheap shoe, just kind of for people who don't really care about shoes and they just want a little Nike real quick. I see some swoosh on it. I see these all all the time, the time. Everywhere. everywhere. Yeah, all kinds of different people. You know, just. It's kind of a low-key, basic shoe, you know. But I mean, as a company, you have to do both. Like, you have yeah. to hype up your brand and shit, so like people, like you know, want the shoes from your brand, and then yeah. you have, But where you really make your money is like, you know. So I understand Jordan like selling a sh or like selling a shit ton of like Jordan One, you know, the, all yeah. the retro they've been doing, 
and not making it like super limited because you know they're trying to make a lot more money. Yeah. But I don't think and they for can. like the long run for like the hype beasts and stuff like that, it's not good because you know you're flooding the market with them and yeah. not making it like rare or whatever. You it's know what I'm it's kind of similar to the the mistake Nike made with Yeezy. Okay, they let go of Yeezy. Why? Because Yeezy wasn't making them any money. Yeah. That many. <laughs> what? <laughs> They weren't. Yeezy was making them no money. Yeah. And but what they didn't realize is he was in a roundabout way. Yeah. You know, he was just adding to the set to the brand. Um, you know, in a weird way that he switched to Adidas, and next thing you know, the whole kind of mindset of Adidas brand kind of starts to slowly change. And because the demographic is, there's a lot more people who don't give a fuck about sneakers than yeah. they do. A hundred percent. And I don't think Yeezy's even making that much money just with Adidas. straight Yeezy shoes for Adidas. Yeah. By but, a long shot. But they're releasing a million cream V2s. Yeah, they're that. gonna start to. So Maybe they, they're gonna start making more if money. If they but, sell those for two hundred, that's yeah. what two hundred million dollars just from that release, which mm -hmm. is pretty damn crazy if they sell out. Yeah. Which I think they probably will, right? Yeah. Um, but of course that'll, you know, devalue the Yeezys and stuff like that. Yeah. Like, ah, Yeezy resale is trash or whatnot. But then you'll, you know, but that's okay. You can still have certain Yeezys that are worth money, yeah. like the the pirate blacks, you know what I mean, or the turtle doves. You know, those are always going to be worth money because they're probably not going to re-release those, or maybe they'll retro them at some point. But you know, so you can have certain releases that are, you know, general release and then more limited ones. Jordan does that. Yeah. So, anyways, uh, let us know what you guys think. Um, are you are you surprised that there aren't any shoe like? I'm surprised, surprised that Air Monarch wasn't on there, and I'm surprised that Vans weren't on there. Vans. Vans, I see Vans everywhere, That's dude. But like, they're they're like forty bucks, right? Like they are cheap to like yeah. half the price of most of these yeah. shoes, right? So maybe that's why yeah. they have to sell twice as many. Mm -hmm. Wait, was it amount or how much they made? I don't know. Uh, let me check the article again. No, it just says best selling shoes. So I mean, right it's amount. So yeah. I think, yeah, Vans maybe. Um, Air Monarchs. Uh... Hubbers, no. Hubbers. Yeah, but I mean, I think that's about it. Like, yeah. It's just your you know, generic, you know, a lot of people just like those shoes. But, yeah. Uh, maybe Roshis, right? They kind of died down, but died I, down. I, I see a good amount of Roshis still. Yeah. But, uh, that's it. That's the video. Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you guys next time. Later. Peace.